Okay, let's work out this problem. It says, consider the differential equation, y double prime minus y prime minus 12y equals zero. It says, verify that the functions e to the negative 3x and e to the 4x form a fundamental set of solutions to the differential equation on the interval negative infinity to infinity. Then it says, the functions satisfy the differential equation and are linearly independent since the Ronskian is, and they want us to fill in the blank. So basically, they want you to verify that these are solutions, which we don't really have to do because, you know, it's not one of the questions. So all we have to do in this problem is figure out the Ronskian. So let's go ahead and work through that. So to find the Ronskian, so the Ronskian is equal to the determinant. And so all you do is you put these functions in the first row of your determinant. So e to the negative 3x and then e to the 4x. Then in the second row, we write the derivative. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x. Here it's e to the negative 3x times the derivative of the inside function, which is negative 3. So it'll be negative 3 e to the negative 3x. The other one will be 4 e to the 4x. So in the first row, you just write the functions. In the second row, you take the derivatives. And the formula is this times this. So it'll be 4e. So when you multiply these, e to the negative 3x times e to the 4x, you add the exponents. So negative 3x plus 4x is x. Then you subtract, and then you do these. Oh, but there's already a minus, so it'll be minus 3. And then again, adding the exponents here will give us e to the x. So that will be 4e to the x plus 3e to the x, which is 7e to the x. So that would be the Ronskian. So you just go over here and you would type in uh, 7e to the x. As for the general solution to the de, it's just going to be a linear combination of these functions. So it'll be c1e to the negative 3x plus c2e to the 4x. This would be the answer to the other question. So I'll just type it in just to show you. So here would be 7e to the x, and this one would be c1e to the negative 3x plus c2 uh, e to the 4x. And that's it. So notice, like, you, to do this part here, you don't even have to do the first part. So you can just go through all of these and just <laughs> put c's in front of these, and that's the answer. The reason is, whenever the Ronskian is not equal to 0, the functions are linearly independent. And whenever you have two linearly independent solutions, you have what's called a fundamental set. That's what the question was asking. It wanted us to verify that it's a fundamental set of solutions. A fundamental set of solutions is just a set of solutions, which are these two here, that happen to be linearly independent. So because the Ronskian is not zero, these are linearly independent, and they are solutions. And so therefore, the general solution is a linear combination of them. That, that's all it's about. So it's a lot to read, but it's actually really easy to do once you know how to do it. I hope this video has been helpful.